Hello there lords and ladies, I am the Mighty Gammon, and today we learn how to completely butcher the story of Star Wars Battlefront 2 using Aiden Versio. Let's begin. Aiden is very powerful in the sense that her presence on screen makes me want to kill myself. Her main weapon is a slightly better version of the close combat blaster for the heavy class. It does great damage, rapidly losing effectiveness the further away you are from your target. At long ranges, this weapon can't even hit your mum, and she eclipses the sun over England on her way to Greg's. Her alternate fire launches a plasma grenade that explodes on impact, dealing enormously moderate damage to almost one enemy in the blast zone. This grenade has an arc, so you need to aim slightly above your target to accurately hit them. This is basic information, I shouldn't even bother telling you this. Also, if you have a lightsaber, this weapon will be your worst nightmare. I'd catch a grenade for ya, put your mum on a plate for ya, I'd f Ruin the entire franchise for you. Her abilities are about as interesting as her character, which is to say I'd rather lie down in an alligator's mouth than use any of them. She can activate a bubble shield with the help of her friendly droid partner, Derek. This ability is a buffed version of the specialist personal shield. It's useful for escaping a firefight or running around using your melee on enemies. Try doing this in Heroes vs Villains mode. Go on, I dare you. It'll be fun! Aiden has a special weapon to counteract the short range on her regular weapon, the Pulse Rifle. This charge up and fire weapon is very accurate and does great damage if you hit above the chest. Think of it as a sniper rifle with a tiny bit of area effect damage. The only downside to this weapon is the fact it's a pile of molten shite that alerts the entire enemy team to your position. If I had any friends, I would advise them to avoid this weapon unless they want to have their virginity returned to them. Yes! Look at me! I'm a specialist on steroids. I will sunder your rebellion from beneath you, fools. Take heed of this warning for all who will listen. My wife thinks I'm gay! Her best ability is the droid stun. This releases hemorrhoids on enemies within range, stopping them from attacking you or running away. There is physically no cream on Jakku strong enough to prevent the rectum collapse these droids cause. You could be off planet and you would still be stunned by Aiden's minions. Are you scared of bees? Why did I ask that? I, I don't know. Are you discriminating against me? Mummy, help, I'm being bullied! I suggest moving in with your teammates whilst playing Aiden. She is pretty strong, but can be overwhelmed when fighting a group what of heavies, or more than one enemy hero at a time. She also starts random heated arguments with retail staff about discounts that have never existed. Honestly, what the fuck? Why can't you play R2-D2 in this game? Because the game is trash. And you've made half your videos on it. Yeah. And so why don't you play a better game then? It's 2022. Good games are now an urban legend, just like the female orgasm. Oh yeah, that last bit explains a lot actually. What, what do you mean? Wait, no, please, I can change. The, the force is female. The force is... Uh, <laughs> stigma. 